It's only madness. How lucky are we to have them here on a Saturday night? Hello, gentlemen. Lovely to see you. Hello, Elton. Looking good. <laughs> madness. We're also going to be chatting to them, but they'll be playing music. You met them earlier. We've got Suggs and Chaz will be coming out alongside with Madness playing later. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. The Great Madness. All right, that's it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get our star guests out, let's enjoy some of the greatest pop music this country has ever produced. So first, joining me for a quick chat, it's Suggs and Chaz from Madness. <laughs> Two of the nutty boys. God bless you, son. Good, man. Good man. Good man. Good man. Pass it on. All right, from Pass it on. All right, there. OK, I'm Pass it. Uh, wow, congratulations on being around for so long. The huge success, remarkable. Who'd have thought it? Who'd have yes. thought when you formed the band, when was it, 76? 76, yeah. Around that time, wow. yes. Yeah. It's funny hearing Kimberly saying it's very hard to remember those old songs from five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, you played at the Olympics, OK, the closing ceremony of the Olympics, and also you played uh, at Buckingham Palace for the Jubilee celebrations. You played on the roof. That must have been quite something, you know, for a bunch of kids from North London who are, uh, you know, I know some of you have had your run-ins with various <laughs> of Her Majesty's different arms. Okay? They want pictures with us now. Yeah, and <laughs> they now they're saying, now you can come and actually climb on the roof. And yeah. I would have thought, you know, that's probably taking a risk with, with some of your Tom tried to get the ledge, yeah, Tom had to That must have been quite something, wasn't it? How did that feel? How did it come about? It was a very extraordinary feeling. Yeah, I mean, it's only been in hindsight. I've been able to think about it. I mean, it seemed to have some... I mean, it had a huge impact playing on the roof of Buckingham Palace, for sure. I wasn't quite sure why, but I suppose, yeah, the fact of where we come from, when we're standing on the roof of Buckingham Palace singing our house in the middle of our street, or one's house in the middle of one street, as we did at the end, <laughs> had a big impact on the general public. I mean, we, we have been around a long time, and it did feel like some kind of... I can't, I can't remember the word now. Uh, not ratification, but... Um, kind of a vindication, A vindication, maybe, maybe yeah. Uh, and the Queen afterwards... She must know who... This is the weird... We I mean, went out for a fag with her, you well, know. But the Queen is <laughs> sharp, you know, for not, not just a woman of her age. She knows what's going on, yeah. doesn't she? I've met her a few times, not, not socially, I hate to say, but I've met her at gatherings, and she always seems to know who people are, you know. So she must know, presumably, who Madness are. Yeah, so you're standing in line, as you well know, Jonathan, and, and the Queen's coming towards you, and you see all the bands, sort of, and she's getting closer and closer. You've got no idea what you're going to... How can you think about what you're going to say to the Queen? So I said the old Tommy Cooper one that I'd seen a long time ago, which was... I said to her, are you still into football, Mum? And she said, no, not really. I said, oh, can I have your cup final tickets then? <laughs> <laughs> and what did she say? And she said, that's Tommy Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> and it must have been 40 odd years ago that Tommy Cooper said that oh, to yeah. her, but she, as quick as a flash, remembered that, yes. So, and did you, did you take souvenirs? I don't want to get you any trouble, but did you take souvenirs <laughs> from the palace? I got a tiny palace? bit of paper with a Buckingham Palace logo from the toilet. It said, please turn the lights out after using it. <laughs> <laughs> so I framed that and put it in the toilet. And I didn't have a jazz woodbine, but I did have a cigarette out yeah, of the toilet too. window. I mean, I know, it's a bit sad. You've got to, you've got to. But I'll tell you the most funniest thing about that, there was sort of shadowy figures on the roof opposite, and I had one of them laser dots on my forehead. <laughs> 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 um, and so the album, the new album, this is new material, OK? And one of the songs has a kind of reprise in it, doesn't it? It's kind of got the, the feel of the album. Uh, the man is called Wee Wee Si Si Ya Ya Da Da. It okay. is indeed. Uh, so it's all the different ways of saying yes. Means, <laughs> and, uh, and the artwork is by the great Peter Blake, who did Sgt Peppers and many other albums since then. We well. actually played his 80th birthday last year, which was really nice. Wow. Well, well, well. Yeah, well, funny enough, that album yeah. cover, which Peter Blake did, of course, you may remember the extraordinarily complicated album that was the Sgt Peppers Lonely Hearts Club Band. Yeah. Well, as you can see, he didn't quite put the same effort into it. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a while. <laughs> but no, in fairness to him, if you look again, 
<laughs> There's a lot of names that have been crossed out. And what happened is the Ten Commandments was the first one. He said, the only thing about doing album covers for bands is they change their minds, right? And if you change your minds again, I'm just going to do it all in crayon and cross it out until you decide on what the album's called. And that became That's the album. Exactly what um, OK, so you're going to perform live for us this evening? Yeah. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah, I've forgotten that. about that. What great joy, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, it is great. So we're going to get the band out? Yes, you indeed, Jonathan. What track are you doing from the album? You're going to do Never Knew Your Name, is that right? A single that's okay, the album is out now. Wee Wee, Sissy, Ya Ya Da Da. Great cover. Great album. Ladies and gentlemen, Madness. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks to all my guests tonight. Uh, next week, I'll be joined here by Grammy winning superstar Alicia Keys. Uh, the star of Bridesmaids, Rose Byrne, will be here. Jules Holland. And we have stand up comedian Adam Hills. But now, to finish the show, performing Never Knew Your Name, it is the one. The only madness. It was very late in the discotheque, and I was feeling blue, like I sometimes do. I turned around, it was time to go. A face in the crowd, a face I didn't know. We got to talking for a little while. You said it's not the sort of thing you usually do Talking to strangers so late in the night These days you never know Oh well, I thought you were nice I told you so You smiled so shyly and said to me I bet you say that to all the girls you meet But it isn't so well, the club was closing, so we had to leave We walked out together just a little at ease I would have liked to have walked you home But you said you'd catch the bus I ended up alone I never knew your name Nor your telephone number Will I ever see you again? I It wasn't any longer an hour or two On that lonely street I said goodbye to you You glanced back at me as I turned the corner The last I saw of you Oh, I wanted to call, call out your name But stupid pride and idiot shame I hesitated, scared of playing the fool So you walked away I never knew your name, nor your telephone number Or will I ever see you again? I wonder No, no, I never knew your name, nor your telephone number Or will I ever see you again? It was very late in that discotheque And I was feeling blue like I sometimes do I thought you were nice, I told you so But I ended up alone No, I never knew your name Nor your telephone number But will I ever see you again? It was very late in that discotheque I was feeling blue like I always do I turned around, it was time to go